Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I try to find the Acid Hunters. Last episode I made my way over here, I thought I was going to have to make my way over here off camera. But I didn't, I didn't. It's just that uh, I couldn't find the way f forward. And I had to look it up online. Um, because I just discovered a switch. And also I have a sneeze coming up. And it's very dark over here, which is a bit of a problem for you. As well as for me. The sneeze attacked me then. Uh, <laughs> so it's not just for you, it's for me as well, because I can't see crap. Uh, I mean... I can. Oh. It looks like Cornell is over there. Colonel Cornell. He's not a colonel. He's he's never been in the army. Uh, this is... Oh. Damn. There's traps. And also, they don't attack me. It could be that it's because I'm in the darkness. I doubt it, though. The man seems to have been caught off guard by your intrusion. And the same applies to his comrades who sw swiftly pull out their chemical weapons and present them for you to clearly see. It's like a weapon inspection. Your eyes quickly return to the person in front of you, rugged, filthy, and scar-ridden. While his cocky stare might feel sharper than broken glass, his voice, not even close, his voice is not sharp. So it's probably gonna be like this. Rather, it reveals growing uneasiness, despite him trying his best to conceal it. Who the hell are you? And how'd you find this place? Uh, name's Carey. I've been looking for you high and low, Cornell. Hey, now, I, I... I got nothing to do with the boy's death. If it's revenge they want, they ought to spend... Or they ought to, ought to send their assassins to Cortec. Yeah, Cortec, huh? Tell me how the boy died, then. He takes a deep breath. All right, listen. So, I have this little piece of old world tech or something. Some kind of cube thingy. Don't know what it did, but it, it looked right right fancy. I tried flogging it uh, to a couple of merchants along the way uh, along to, uh, the way to Core City, but they all turned out to be cheapskates. So when I got in that, those two merchants, I believe are uh, Cora and uh, I don't remember the Baker, Cora and Baker maybe. The merchants that we were looking for before, but way earlier in the game. Those are the ones, I think. When I got back home, I got in, in contact with the oligarch kids. I figured they got quite a bit of disposable income and they might appreciate something new to spend it on. Right, I was. Too damn right. We met in an alley near the drop zone, you know, a nice secluded place where no one could interrupt us. M Myland Simmons wanted it the most, but Edmund, Knight's kid, yeah, he kept outbidding him. Honestly, I don't think Ed Edmund even wanted the thing, he just wanted to piss Myland off, or prove that he had more money or something, I don't know, maybe to impress Ed Edstrom's girl? What's her face? Um, never mind, but she, she was there as well. Three stupid rich brats squabbling over a toy, you can see where this is going. Eventually the two boys got into a fight, when M Miland, uh, or Myland, or whatever his name is, suddenly pulled a gun out. I think he only wanted to strike Ed with the butt of it, but Ed got a hold of his hand and they wrestled, and the gun went off like in the movies. Bang! That's how the guns would go off. And that was the end of Edmund Knight. He got dominated. When we all panicked, Mylan swore it was an accident and persuaded the girl to keep her mouth shut, so he made the trade with Mylan and took off. Got the hell out of there. And now, well, now we're here. I really don't remember if there's another way of interacting with him, apart from this, what we just did. But I think we can come here in the Cortec quest line. If, indeed, we did the Cortec in my first playthrough of this game. Uh, rather, in the Cortec. In the, um... Uh, dang it, in the other one. The Praetorian Security quest line. I had some que Terry and Laura Baker. That I was right in... Well, well, Laura, Cora, Baker, almost... I had some questions about Terry and Laura, the merchants from Southgate Station. Jerry and... Uh, who, who the, what? Never heard of those people. Yeah, Terry and Laura. And uh, I think you know. I think you, you know. I'm... Uh, wait, I still don't understand who you're talking about and what the hell it all has to do with me. 
Uh, well, it has to do the fact that I'll rip your heart out if you if I hear you lie to me one more time. I know everything. They were killed by chemical weapons, just like the ones you have. The room falls silent because you stopped talking. The acid hunters look at each other, and no one seems to dare utter a single world uh, word. I'm waiting, Cornell. He raises r raises his hand. Z hands, plural. It's true. It's true. What you say is, is indeed true. Just tell me what happened. He takes a deep breath. The first time we saw them, we had all been in Core City. Uh, yeah, we were unloading some of the junk we had found, selling the stuff to one of the merchants. Literally junk, worth next to bloody nothing. And, and then we saw the pair that didn't know how they were called at the time or who they were. I just saw they got something with them, something valuable. It's instinct, I suppose. Let me guess, it was the cube? Yeah, that pipe-working cube. Piece of... Anyway. We followed them in with uh, the intention of taking it from them, right? They boarded the train, we boarded the train, we were on the way to rail crossing anyway, so what the hell. Once we got there, we pulled our guns out and asked them, you know, hand over the goods and no one would get hurt. Well, they refused, sister, so we had to take the hardcore measures. We forced them into the caves north of the station because we already got a place there where we'd often camp. So we led them there to call they ahead, and that's it. You forgot the part where you killed them in cold blood. What? Hold on. We we had no cold blooded murderers. They resisted. The two of them resisted. They they tried to overpower us. Listen, I'm I'm not trying to say I'm a good guy or nothing of the sort, but we didn't just you know zone them out for no reason. Uh, yeah, I never, f I never found the woman's body. No, maybe some animals dragged her corpse, or maybe she survived. I need you. T I need to think about this. Meanwhile, I had some questions. Yeah, time to settle this thing, I guess. So, what's it gonna be? Um, hmm. I really don't know that Laura survives. Maybe she does, but I don't think we have an option to find her, or I don't think it's possible to find her. So if she does indeed survive, or did indeed survive, I don't think it's, I don't think we can do anything about it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was sort of hoping that he'd be able to tell me something more, but apparently not. I'm afraid you guys have to die. We'll see about that, pipe worker. Acid hunters. Burn her up. Time for a chemistry lesson. Well... Oh, I resisted that, didn't I? This is bad. Good job, Colonel. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, so... What do we do? We do shields. Uh, I don't know that that's gonna work I say the first one tell me how the boy died continue a bunch from there questions about things I'm waiting tell me what happened it was the cube uh, I never found her or maybe she survived and then you have to die fight so I have a shield up uh, that's a miss. That's really good, actually. The shield does protect a little bit. I have been intimidated. That actually might ruin everything. Uh, no, it doesn't really ruin everything. It ruins some things. Oh, I almost survived. Okay, so I can't... Clearly can't do this with, um, with the armor that I have. So I need chemical protection. Oh, I also don't know what they... Do. It's acid, so bio doesn't matter. What can I do? There is a thing I can do. You might not be foreseeing it, but I think I can do this. Hey. Aw. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Cornell is on to me. Is he? No, he's not. 
that sucks. So, uh, I can do that, but I can, I should probably do it behind Cornell. Apply a force field back there, because he was trying to talk to me. And he just couldn't. So, go ahead and do that. Say hi to him. I've been looking for you. Uh, where many things, some questions. Intimidate, I'm waiting, tell me what happened, you're an idiot, never found her, time to settle, you need to die. <laughs> I resisted that, that's pretty good, actually. Adrenaline rush, that's pretty bad. So this acid is gonna be a, I mean, we're, we're, we're yeah, this, this is pretty bad. We're in a, in a bit of a predicament here, but, you know. It's not the end of the world or anything. Mostly because I can kill them all. No problem. And I'll definitely need to move out of here. And because I'm not going to be able to attack there. Our um, mana is not really going to be the issue here. So let's try and disable you first and foremost. Oh, you unlucky. Sorry, fools. <laughs> the game betrayed you. The game betrayed you. Because it shouldn't do that. It absolutely should not do that. Oh, I'm stuck. I am stuck and that is bad. For many reasons. Do I need to move for everything? I think I do. Oof, this is pretty bad. This is very bad. Well, we have... The, uh, the fear might work. So, Frighten. Yeah, let's try Locus of Control. And then a Frighten. So that's going to frighten me as well. I don't like that. I mean, if I need to frighten me, so be it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't frighten myself. This is, this is bad news. Put it over there. See if they're going to step over it. I doubt it. <gasps> oh, no. That's actually really great. Okay. Because uh, I can move now. And I should be able to disable them both, if not kill them. I can kill them. Wow. This is... That was... Whew, that was pretty bad. These guys are nothing to mess around with okay so still got one of those put it over there the shield needs a little bit but it doesn't need it for right now and we're saving because the acid hunters I I can totally see me not actually being able to, to kill them in my first attempt in my first pass through this game and just being like no no I let you go because <laughs> they'll kill me otherwise oh boy uh, we have an advanced catalyzing belt uh, it's not the first one we find. It's a really good equipment, uh, piece of equipment because it's relatively light and very expensive. And uh, padded, muted, mutated, mutated dog leather thingy. More with the pistols. Yeah. Hacksaw Mark Three. Is that good enough? That isn't good enough for me to carry. I don't think. And we have a Radhead amulet. And hopefully. No traps. Good. Okay. Oh boy. We made it. So, no option here to tell uh, Tanner uh, after finding them. Well, oof, that's also pretty terrible. What, I just, what just happened to me. Uh, while I'll definitely be able to go back to Tanner, it's not the same thing. Where? No, oh, we're good, we're good. It's not the same thing, basically. But it's good to have that quest done. It wasn't Gorski that wanted it, it was Tanner. Only Tanner. Gorski wants something different. I'll definitely, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll have to look into um, a walkthrough to see how to do Gorski's mission. Because at the moment I, I'm just sort of befuddled. Gorski has, uh, wants us to go into the Praetorian security place and it, uh, there's another one, there's two of them. But the other one, I think, is harder, potentially. Actually, we 
probably have access to this. So Gorski wants to find that way, and also to find a way to recover a tunneler that has been stranded in drop zone. And, oh. Didn't I do that already? Or did I have to wait? Yeah, I did that. I just didn't go back to Gorski. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's something I do. Don't, not going back to Gorski. So, let's just take this boat and uh, take us to Southgate City. Yeah, take the money because it doesn't matter. And it's going to be a good opportunity. It's, it was now a good opportunity for me to bring a bunch of the equipment that I still have in my boat. But I, uh, we don't bother with that for the moment. Uh, most, I mean, mo I'm going to need to do that. But uh, it's mostly important where, where or when I need to do crafting. Because, the, of course, the crafting components are all we live for. Seriously, crafting in this game is, is everything. So, uh, I have a bunch of them. I don't. Interesting. Interesting that I don't have... I forget where I put them, but... yeah, Phantom Dancer over here. Uh, it's an interesting... Uh, where did I get this thing? I, I got it, but... <laughs> Cortec Tactical Respirator. I probably was going to be good against... Yeah, against the bio damage, just not against the acid. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not... Excuse me. These things are not meant to be here. They're expensive, but they're not... Yeah. Red Dragon. That's the one I'm carrying. That laser pistol is expensive. Advanced Catalyzing thing. Doesn't need... I don't need that. Or Metathermics. And this stuff goes in here. We also have Cloaking Devices, but they're not as good. That one might be better. Is that my old one? It is. So I'll put it over there. Security pass that is not going to do anything. And now we have a bunch of energies, energy cells. That's fine for me. I have a lot of drugs as well. The drugs are actually taking up a bunch of space. But we don't need to worry about space all that much now that we don't, we basically don't take anything. So, Tanner. Where is Tanner? Not administration. Is that administration? It might be administration. Hey, come. Yeah, it's Vera. Hey. Um. Yeah, can't talk to her about anything. It's the cantina one. I think. So, administ... No. Where's the cantina? There it is. Commons in cantina. I know it's either three or five, because the tenor is uh, on the level right next to Vera's level. Kitty! And tenor's over here. Gary. So, I found Cornell and the Acid Hunters. Excellent. And what of the device? Did you get a hold of it? No, but I know it's in the hands of Cortec. You need to find a way to take it from them. Cortec can be a reckless organization. They inherited some of the old Biocorp's technology, but none of the wisdom. They should not be allowed to tinker with the faceless artifact. If the it would be the be, the best if you would bring the device to me before any more bad things happen, then we can decide what to do with it. Are you sure it would be the best? Cause I don't think it would be the best. I did gain a bunch of experience there, three points, so that's pretty awesome. That sort of points out to well, that one being done, but this one is a new one. Find a mysterious cube, or find the mysterious cube the faceless are looking for, and return it to Tanner. I don't think the game does a very good job at hiding. It's not, it doesn't, by that I mean, the game doesn't actually try to, to hide the fact that, um, that we're looking for a cube. So, look at all the things we need to do for Quicksilver, or whatever, Jack Quicksilver. Let's do that. I don't think this is going to get us any closer to the missions that we're doing right now, but, I mean, we're getting ourselves deep into some business. So, anyway, Southgate Station, Lennox Pierce. Uh, that's a bit of a... Essie, be careful if you're heading out. I hear... That's the wrong gear. There are faceless about. Anyway, uh, do you need directions? Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me how to get to the person... Uh, what do you think of the Faceless Invasion? Yeah. So... Cantina? You'd think the Cantina. Because we're looking for just... I don't know that it's somebody in here. Or somebody from here. We got Vensel. Mm, we got Newton. 
Lennox, right there. We found it. We found them. The man stares at his nearly empty glass in silence, his mind clearly elsewhere. Lennox Pierce? He snaps out, raising his head to reveal a deathly pale visage. His sluggish eyes soon focus on you and soon begins mumbling, communicating both with the eyes begin mumbling, communicating both with his speech and his alcohol breath. What? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm Lennox Pierce. Mm, I mm, are you Yeah, Jack sent me to talk to you. You can call me Carrie. Nice 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 to meet you, Carrie. I, mm. How are, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Good, it's, uh, it's good, it's good. So, Jack told me you need some help? That's correct. Uh, unfortunately, look, Kerry, I, I need I need to help me find out my brother. Uh, I mean, how my brother died. Uh, Pat, Patrick Pierce? My brother um, came to Southgate Station over a year ago. It was a good, it was a good man. It was, it was good with uh, electronics. I think that's what he did here. My dear Pat, his voice begins to shake, but he composes himself. Something like a month, uh, yeah, a month and a half ago, it was found dead in dead in, dead in his room, lying in bed. De dead, it was dead. I I came here to see what happened, you know, uh, but you know, I was told he died in his in his sleep. Uh, Tanner, the counselor, Tanner, he t he told me the. Dr. Pasquale checked his, um, you know, body. It doesn't know the exact cause of death. Uh, doesn't bleeding... Doesn't... I... N n never... Anyway. Yes. Um... <laughs> no more drinks for you. Control yourself, man. Let's go with that. Shut up. I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm just... I'm just devastated. You know, look. Something's wrong. My brother... It was a healthy man. He had some back issues or something. But that's all. He, I need to know the truth. What if he was killed in some accident and they are covering it up? What if someone killed him? I, it's tearing me apart. I, Tanner won't help me anymore as far as he's concerned. He's, he's, he's done I'm, something. I don't know. I'm drunk. Um, I'm not, you know, cause of death unknown. Yeah, right. I don't know what he's talking about. He's, his speech is broken in, and typos are all over the place. <laughs> he's drunk. He comes across as drunk. Um, I'll help you. We'll find a way to, to get what... Uh, we'll find out what really happened to your brother. Please forgive me. I get him and drunk. I get him drunk. This is really painful to me, for me. He was my older brother. I have no one else. Look, I'm not sure I, I was understandable enough earlier because of the typos. I'm um, very tired. I don't, I don't sleep well if... It, if you need to ask something, I'll be here. Almost. Oh, right. Um, this is my brother's room key card in case you need to, um, you know, check his room. Take it. No, I can't. Can I talk to you first? Ask me anything you need. What can you tell me about Patrick? He was a good man, hardworking, dedicated. He was the best brother a man can hope for. I, I just can't l let this all go. You dig? It's. I, I've had this terrible feeling about his death, and these jerks won't let me know the truth. I don't know. I know it. I know. I know that. I don't. I don't know the truth, but it's the truth. But I, it's, I, I'm drunk anyway. Whatever happened to him, he didn't. Um. He didn't deserve it. I, that I can swear. Uh. I have reasons to believe that your brother was murdered. Do I? Maybe. What do you think caused Patrick's death? Some something's wrong, you know, just wrong. A, a healthy man died in his sleep without a known cause, and they told me there is no point in investigating any further. There's no evidence of foul play or whatever they said. I don't know. They use fancy words. Natural death. That's what well, you know. So, uh, I need the truth. Right. Well. It is worth pointing out that th there is no... If they were indeed hiding, you know, imagine he was shot in the head, right? Um, why would they say that he died of um, an unexplained sudden illness thing? Because, you know, people do die from that. It's, you, you know, stuff like, you know, blood clots and, and uh, aneurysms and stuff like that. That does happen. It's pretty rare. But it does happen. It's not like a, an impossibility. 
Um, but if they were making it up, if they had something to hide, why didn't they just why they didn't they just say that he fell down a set of stairs and hit his head or something, or you know something like he drowned in his bathtub or something stupid, you know. <laughs> Because people do die from stuff like that, you know, just slipping, slipping when you're by yourself and, and you, you know, knock yourself out and bleed out. But like that happens to people, or you choke on something. Like there's so many other more plausible. The choking is kind of suspicious, even though it happens a lot as well, unfortunately. Um, if you, but which by the way, um, knowing how to unchoke yourself is actually something you should know. You that are watching right now, you should check into it. It is easy to do if you're by yourself. Um, you just, you just need to know how to do it. So look it up, talk to somebody that does, because if you, you know, if you're by yourself and you are choking on anything, really, uh, knowing how to fix that is, it can save your life. And it definitely can save somebody else's life if you're by, with them. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd say that, uh, because it's important. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so, so on the one hand, if, if they are hiding something, why did they come up with the least convincing way of, him dying. It's like, ah, no, he died. No, nah, never mind. On the other hand, this guy is drunk, and um, so, you know, it is possible that he died of natural causes, or in his words, natural causes. Um, he could have died on natural causes and still be a murderer. Just saying. It's like, you know, if he drowns in, in a trap or something like that, it's, it's still murder. It's just, he drowned. Um, let's save the game before I say that I have reason to believe that his brother was murdered. And let's also end the episode, because I just now looked at the time and we're out of it. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>